Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dot Hack GU Volume One Rebirth. I am Kaito Yahiko, bringing you more fail. In the last episode, we had lots of cutscenes. Probably our last two episodes, we had lots of cutscenes and people talking, and we didn't actually get to do really shit. We just stood around and did nothing. Oh, they're already my party. I was about to invite them. Anyways, over here, these gates of magicalness you can use to teleport from one place to the other. You can give it to the dome, essential, mercenary, alchemy, or you can cancel. You want to go to the dome. Magic teleporting. Alrighty. So for a while, Sylvus and Gaspard are going to be our party member people, and we are going to have fun with them. They actually kind of stay with us for pretty much the whole game, and the whole next game, and the game after that. But we don't only this use just is them. This the Chaos Gate. If you input three different types of words into... I know that. Okay, well then. A good area for a noob is... Delta Peaceful Leading Freedom. That should be a good place to start. Yay. Let's get the Chaos Gate. Warp menu. Bookmark. I want to go to the Buzzing Wrath Puddle. That is such a weird name. Alright. Peaceful leading freedom. Yay, that sounds like such a pretty place. Attention! Bringing one noob to the dungeon! Repeat, bringing one noob to the dungeon! I told you that I'm not a noob. I know, I know. You're really the terror of death, right? I can understand you wanting to roleplay something like that, but I'm not really sure if you should do terror of death, you know? Player killers are going to come after you, and it'll definitely be rough for you. Hey, just shut up and listen! So you're saying you're really the PKK Haseo, the terror of death? And when you logged in, your level went down from 133 to 1? No way! I've never heard of a bug quite like that! Wow! I'm not lying! Okay, but still... Gaspard, that's what he's role-playing. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> that's some really complicated character background. It's not role-playing. Don't be embarrassed. We'll accept your character concept. Just relax and come with us. Will you please listen to me already? Yeah, they're very stupid. And mean. How can I not believe that I am Haseo, the Terror of Death? Speaking of the Terror of Death, I actually like Haseo better without that Terror of Death armor costume thing. I think it looks really ridiculous. I like him better this way. Or with those other outfits you get later in the game. <sighs> okay. Let's go kick ass at these random monsters. Don't explain it! The enemy has been spotted! Okay, maybe we should start by telling you about the skill trigger. I already know about that. But how could you know? You're just a noob. No, I'm not. Uh, why don't we give it a shot? Okay, come on, Haseo. Let's go fight the monsters. Don't forget to use the skill trigger, okay? They're so me not believing me. Surprise attack, go! I'll pick a battle. Kick the ass! Might help if I actually hit them. Ow. So these are new enemies, obviously. We didn't fight them the last time we only got to fight, which is at level 1 last time. Ouch. Yeah, you heal me, Gaspard. You heal it. At least you get a healer in the beginning of this game, kind of. In, in, in the beginning of Dot Hack Infection, I didn't get no healer. I had to wander around forever to heal myself. It was horrible. Yes! Way to go, Haseo! Yeah, looks like you can use the skill trigger just fine. Because we already learned it. I just can't believe that you're a noob! I told you, I'm not a... Okay, okay. 
Let's move on. Will you two just listen to me? <sighs> Isn't it possible some person could have more than one character? People do that all the time. In, like, role-playing games. MMOs. That's what I meant to say. MMOs. I've done that before. Not effectively, but I've had more than one character in an MMO. It doesn't make me a noob just because I am a character, the second character that's like level three. Let's do our best. Aw. It saw me. Kick your ass! I hope you can't hear my controller in the background. <laughs> Oh, I suppose I'll explain why I'm playing this on a PS2 instead so of the PS3. Um, the capture card I got is just a dazzle, not anything spectacular. And the dazzle doesn't have an HDMI plug-in, which is what I've been using for the PS3. And you know, the PS3 does have the, I think it's component, cable plug-in in the back of the PS3. It does have one, but mine is broken. You can plug in the component cables and then plug it into the TV, and it doesn't actually work. I've tried messing with the settings in the PS3 to change it so that way it knows that I'm supposed to be using component cables or the S video cable or whatever the hell it's called at that end. But it doesn't work, so I had to use the PS2 and plug in the magical thing. So that's why I'm using a PS2 rather than a PS3 to play this game. Not that it makes much of a difference. Just thought I'd let you know. If anybody knows how to fix the plug on the PS3, let me know. Because it's not like the plug, the component cable plug is broken, it's the actual spot you plug it into on the PS3 that's broken. So. Yes. It sucks. So for a while I probably won't be able to play any PS3 games until I find a fix for that. But I do have a PS2 that works with PS2 games. As well as a... Wii? I can play GameCube and Wii games if you want me to. I do not own an Xbox. Mostly because I do not like the games for the Xbox. And I am also very bad at shooters. Breaking map. Here we go. So, feel free to request a game. I will be doing um, all the GU games. GU 1, 2, and 3. And I have another game planned, though at the moment... it's. I think I said this in the beginning of the first episode. It's being borrowed, so... The moment I can't play it, but when I do give it back, I will do an LP of that one too. So, until then, I'll be using my PS2 to record these. And that's the story of my life. Not really. I keep trying to attack things that are already dead. I need to stop that. Yay, I leveled up. And I got more items and stuff. Gimme. I know what they are, don't tell me. You can collect these little chim chims, you kick them. Kick it! I fail. Here we go. You can kick them and you can collect them and you can they can be used to open doors and stuff. They're fun to collect. And I usually end up maxing them out for no current reason. Getting as many as I can hold. this video, which is not, should be over soon, I'm going to start uploading the first few episodes to YouTube and then I'll just leave them for a while and see what kind of feedback I get. Depending on that, I will change my recording style to fix shit that people want me to fix. And Gaspard leveled up. I like how they're calling me names, but they're really not that high of a level either. Dead end. I should look at the map to see that. I also like the map better in this game than the dot hack infection because the, the map is smaller, it doesn't take up so much of the screen. Or I could just like get rid of it. Oh no, where'd the map go? Magic with the select button. Oh yeah, you can also go into first person view by pressing uh L2. That's what I pushed, right? No, it was it was R2. Yeah. Sorry. Messing around. I hope I can get to this dungeon before the end of the video. That'd be, that'd be good. We're checking our health. We're all good. I'ma kill you! 
Oh. There's another enemy. Well, now that you know how to use the skill trigger, let's learn about Rengeki. I already know about. Uh, okay, then let's go and fight them. I'll tell you the timing to execute it, so make sure you use it. Uh, listen to me, damn it! Don't worry, we're listening, all right. Yeah, right. They are not listening. If they were listening, they would stop pretending that I'm- or not pretending, but treating me like a noob. Come over here and kick your ass. I wanted to do a Rengeki. You guys killed it before I got a chance. Just keep it, guys. Yay, overkill. Geki was pretty good. Thank you. Oh, duh. Wow! Way to go, Haseo! Nice! I was so bad when I was a noob. Good job! I told you, I'm not a... Yeah, no one would think you're a noob with your skills. Cause he's not! Hey, come on! Let's keep going! Are you even hearing anything I'm saying to you? Of course they're not. If they were, they'd stop talking. I was checking for more enemies. All right, heading on. Look at the pretty waterfall. Isn't it pretty? It is pretty. Ah, Shamba. I know that. Thanks for telling me, Hase, with your magical thoughts. Magical thoughts. Please tell me the statue was here. Nah, it's not. Of course not. Just farther. Do you know about awakening? No, I don't. See, I knew that you were a noob. Uh, hey. Now, now, Haseo. We'll tell you all about them. So don't scowl. Okay. Yeah. So, what is this awakening thing you were talking about? Well, it's a special attack that you can do together with your party members. Do you want to give it a shot? It's a lot easier to understand it if you're in battle. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it. I'm going to do my best. Hey, I haven't agreed. All right, then. Let's go encounter some enemies. See, the reason I say I wouldn't know about Awakening is because he's never in a party. He was always a solo I man in the anime. Pretty much. Afterwards. I know. You can use I know. See. Press square. Here it comes! Okay. I'll do what I can. Kick your ass! Using this technique. You just got one step closer to becoming the terror of death. I uh, think they're making fun of me. The enemies get stronger as we go deep, so let's kick some butt and get you leveled up. You know, I kind of wonder why I said if people are possibly pulling the same trick the first people we, who taught us how to play did. I mean, sure, they're a bit weaker because they're like not level 10, but they could still be PKs. I say it's too trusting. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I will continue in the next episode to finish this place. See you all next time. Have a nice day.